Hello, I'm Chris. Um, today is a talking blog. So I've been using this service, 21 things, 21... Oh crap, I forgot already. Well, it's on the screen, 21 something. It's a site for helping you develop habits. There's this idea that habits form after 21 days of doing something. This website helps you create positive habits by tracking whether or not you did the habit you want to do. Right now I have a habit walk to the airfield and back every day because I don't get a lot of exercise. You can see I'm not doing that well, but <laughs> I'll keep at it. I'm going to start a new habit of making a video every day. I want to do something with my life that I like doing. Um, I've been handed several jobs in past years that I didn't work at getting. They were just available and so I took them. I know there's not a lot of money for YouTubers and I don't really like using standard YouTube license anyway because I like people to be able to download, share, remix, remaster, build upon my videos. I really like the Creative Commons license. Actually, I prefer public domain license, but that's not an option on YouTube. But I treat all my videos as public domain. Anyway, that's something I want to work at doing is making content for people. My little niche that I think I'm good at is telling people about software or telling people about airsoft things, or telling people about ideas that I have for products. That's what I want to do. I want to be an inventor and create things. Yeah, that's what I want to do. So I had this job for a while. It was making holsters for guns. It was a lot of hours per day. I had no energy to do what I, the things I like to do, which are write software, play video games. <laughs> anyway, that whole experience made me think, society demands things of fit people. Society demands that fit people produce things. At least that's how I feel and living with my parents at the moment and I've been wanting to move out. I've been wanting to do what I want to do with my life which is do creative things in exchange for money. <laughs> oh, I hate money. Money's like um, if you've seen Mr. Robot the TV series I agree a lot with what Elliot says about money. It's the invisible hand that controls us. Because I don't have money, I can't live away from my parents. I can afford food and things, but not rent. Um, I do work for my parents just enough to where I'm able to live there and keep them content, I guess. And I know they would prefer me to do even more work for them. That just brings me full circle that it's not work that I want to be doing, it's not work that uses my talents. Anyway, I think I'm rambling a little bit, but I've been focusing on things that can potentially make money, like improving my skills in web development. I have this idea here for an airsoft device, which I've called device. This is kind of a diagram of how it would work. All right, so the way it works is there's devices out in the field, like the airsoft field. This is an airsoft device. It's for facilitating game modes like Counter-Strike Bomb Mode, uh, Team Fortress 2 Intel Mode, or Capture the Flag, uh, Call of Duty Domination, or King of the Hill. There are devices out in the field with buttons on them. Um, say, they could be used for different things, but say a sector control game or a domination game where the first team to click their team's color button controls that point until the other team shoots all the enemies in that area and clicks the button on their team. Those devices connect to a RabbitMQ server, which connects to uh, a game server, which handles things like timers, saying the first team to control this point for a half hour wins. Then there's an API server that connects to a database that stores the game state, and then a client that runs on an admin's mobile phone. The admin can start and stop the game from his mobile phone. This is something I've been working on for two years probably, but I'm finally getting some good progress on it to push out the next version. I do have a very simple version of this already, but it's janky and it's falling apart. And it doesn't have Wi-Fi like this new one will have, where the admin can control the game's status. Anyway, there's that. I've been spending like 40 hours plus a week on web development. I'm also doing a website for a friend I know as a job. It's to display his art to his friends and family. Other things I've been doing are uh, reselling consumer electronics on eBay and soon open bazaar. So one thing I really like doing is shipping because it's kind of a physical task and especially if 
I'm shipping large objects, which I've done in previous jobs. Here's something I sell. It's a little card reader. Um, I buy them from, from eBay, really, in bulk, and then resell them uh, at a markup. People sometimes buy from me because I ship from the U.S., and other sellers on eBay are cheaper, but they're shipping directly from Hong Kong or China. Buying from those other sellers, people have to wait two weeks. No, no, it's even more than that. It's like a month, exactly. Whereas if they buy from me for a little more, they get their item in two to three days. It's something I really like doing, and I'm trying to scale it up, because it's something I like doing. The invisible hand is controlling me. Hopefully it won't be a bad thing, and hopefully I can not lose myself while pursuing money. Uh, but really I'm pursuing independence, but yeah. I just, I just felt like sharing these thoughts, that's all I could think of doing today besides an open bizarre video. Um, I will do another one of those because that video was pretty popular, open bizarre testing.